Okay, guys, this is that the distributor, and like I was showing you with the mechanical advance and the weights. These weights are not that bad. They're actually a little bit stiff. They're definitely less than factory. And this weight kit that it came with is pretty decent. It does allow for a more advanced than factory would. So that's all good. It's just going to increase the advance. You put the initial at 10. Sometimes you can get 20 degrees additional, if not more, built into the mechanical advance. So if you can go 30, 32, 36 degrees, um, you're just adding that to the initial time and setting, whatever it's going to be. A lot of times this will work with the camshaft profile. Most stock engines though, if you would just get this and if you would put in a lighter spring, you can see here I have a spring kit. This is a much easier, a lighter spring. It will allow these weights to kick out earlier in the RPM band and open up and off idle, you may start the initial mechanical advance down low at 1500 where factory would do it at three or 3500. So if you introduce more ignition advance that early, it just produces more low end torque and it lets the motor rev out and you still have the same exact total timing. You're just bringing it down the curve. So instead of it coming in real lazy and late, as they always say at 33,000, 3,500, maybe even four, you're going to bring it down in low and it's going to tremendously increase the way the car performs on the street. And honestly, it, to me, it actually helps the, the fuel mileage because it just helps that vehicle in all aspects. It runs cooler. There's less detonation if the engine's running right. When these cars were set up and they had the factory did the heavy springs, they had low timing at mid-range and it would just pre-ignition instead of just detonating. Um, it was a horrible um, knocking. And if you tune these right, you'll just wake the car up. A simple tuning kit, it'll just wake it up like you wouldn't believe. Um, so a lot of the kits come with a chart that will get you in the ballpark of the RPM that you can match with your, with your camshaft profile. But any engine by, by two grand, especially a small block Chevy, by two to, to 25, you want all your advance in. You don't want it waiting to three because you know, all you're going to do is rev the motor out. So you can see I pull, just pulled out the springs. It's under the rotor. Just pop out the rotor and this is living under there so this I'll t you can just see there's a lot of effort to move that spring these red ones are extremely easy and some guys caught them and make their own the issue with that is um when they're too light at idle you may get erratic idle meaning if you're idling at 800 or 900 some guys go up to 950 you may get advanced and it triggers the advance. So you don't want to go too crazy. If you're going to go that crazy, don't bother putting in a weight kit. Just peg it. Um, they have kits that will lock it out and you just run max advance all the time. But if you want to use the springs, it, I'll think that, that these kits are 10 or 15 bucks worth the money rather than making something homemade. Um, but you really want it to come in off idle. 1500 and up you don't want it below the 15 so if you could see it right here it's a very light assembly um, when you snap the throttle on this it's going to open up and increase your timing immediately uh, it's going to wake up wake up the car so that's just a quick thing about um, how to just change change your springs out and you can see here this is just the kit i had it had some of them even come with their own weights this already had it and have to change it so this helps you with additional advanced if you need it some of them obviously are bigger and thicker so they limit it others are smaller and they normally come with three or four sets of springs that you could pick out the best ones um, like i said the, these are lighter obviously the thicker ones are going to be a stiffer spring um, and you just for the, for the street i would just stay away with those so that's it just a quick uh hei um advanced kit would make the car wake up on the street so thanks guys